Hello everyone, welcome sa ating educational channel. This is Agent Mateus Class. This is Mr. Reyes. I am here to guide you with our lesson for today. Another or final part of our video lesson which is the circular permutation. Ang circular permutation naman is an arrangement of objects in a circular manner. Kung kanina, ina-arrange natin yung mga bagay-bagay sa isang linya or row. Ngayon naman, i-arrange natin yung mga bagay-bagay sa pabilog na bahagi or circular manner. Subukan natin itong arrangement na ito. Alam nyo ba na yung arrangement na yan ay pareho lang sa ganito at saka pareho lang sa ganito. Magkakapareho lang yung mga arrangement na yan sa circular manner. Kunwari, ang ide idea natin dito ay si letter A. Let's say si letter A, siya ay facing the middle part. Lagyan natin, facing the middle part. Si A, facing the middle part. Kung ikaw ito, nasa kaliwa mo si B, nasa kanan mo si C. Tama? Ito ka, kunwari, ito ka, yung A na ito. Kung titignan mo, same din. Nasa kanan mo si C, nasa kaliwa mo si B. Kaya pareho lang din. Dito din. Nasa kanan mo si C, nasa kaliwa mo si B. Kaya pareho pa, lang, pareho pa rin yung setup dito. And kung bibigyan pa natin ng other illustration, magkakapareho lang din. Kunwari, ang concentration natin dito ay si B. Facing the middle part facing the middle part facing the middle part kung titignan natin sa unang drawing dito si B dito, nasa kaliwa niya si A nasa kanan niya si C facing si B, pareho lang din nasa, kali at nasa kaliwa niya si A nasa kanan niya si C yung B din dito nasa kanan niya si C nasa kaliwa niya si A kaya yung dalawang ito yung dalawang sets dito isa lang ang count nila dahil pare-pareho lang naman sila. Kaya kapag may tatlong tao na umupo sa bilog na mesa, dalawang pamamaraan lang or two ways lang ang pwedeng makuha natin. Kapag nasa row naman sila, ikakaw natin lahat ng mga ito. Magiging anim lahat yung number of ways kapag umupo yung tatlong tao sa isang linya. Pero pag sa bilog naman, Magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang ways lang dahil nga sa condition or restriction na pare-pareho lang ang yung nangyayari sa round or circular manner because of the left and right position ng ating uh, concentrated object or reference natin. Dahil dyan, may nangyaring fixed object muna. Kailangan mag-umpisa muna doon tapos yung matitira, kailangan mo lang kunin yung permutation nila. So, we can only get two arrangements for objects, letters A, B, and C na din. Or the formula behind that is in a circular permutation, consider one object first as a fixed position and the remaining objects which, are, which is represented by N minus 1 will be the, we are getting the positions or arrangement of those remaining objects na din. Or to simplify, the number of permutation of n distinct objects can be arranged in a circle represented by n minus 1 factorial. Minus 1, this 1 will be taken, taken away or serve as our reference dun sa mga objects na nandun sa bilog natin. So with these examples, malalaman mo na yung circular permutation na yan. In how many ways can 10 children stand in a circle to play a game? So again, uh, circle ang, ang kanilang gagawin uh, in a circular manner. So again, by the formula n minus 1 factorial or quantity n minus 1 factorial, we will have 362,880 ways na number of ways ng sampung batang ito na maglalaro in a circle. And sa second problem natin, we have 8 students are seated at a round table. In how many ways can they be seated if 3 of them? Ayan, may panibagong conditions na naman tayo dito. 
Tatlo sa kanila insist in setting next to each other. May tatlo sa kanila ay dapat magtatabi or magkakatabi sila. So the way in getting that, let's make a coded uh, circles dito. Ito yung mga eight na students natin. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ito yung tatlong yon na nag-insist na sila ay magkatabi sa isa't isa. So dahil yan, meron na lang tayong six minus one factorial dito. Papano sir nangyari yung 6 minus 1 were in 8 naman sila from the very start. Ganito yung nangyari. Counted as 1 ito. Kung naalala mo, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kaya, originally, naging 6 objects na lang and then magsusubtract tayo ng 1 dahil nga nasa circular manner tayo. Kaya yun yung umpisa, 6 minus 1 factorial. Kung naalala mo kaninang problem na si Joey at saka si Vic bilang restriction na magkatabi, ganito rin yung condition dito. Yung tatlong taong ito ay kailangan natin kunin dahil imumultiply natin ng 3 factorial dahil sila ay may pagkakataon na magpalitan ng pwesto provided na sila ay magkakatabi pa rin. So with that, magkakaroon tayo ng 720 ways. Because 5 factorial, this is 5 factorial, times 3 factorial is equal to 720 ways. And once again, more examples tayo para maintindihan mo. Maria wants to make a necklace using beds. How many ways in which 8 beds can be arranged to form a necklace? So it's a simple problem because wala namang sinabing restriction so we just have to subtract by 1 yung 8, eight natin so you have 7 factorial and you will arrive at 5,040 ways. For our next problem, uh, okay, it's a different scenario here because meron na tayong restriction. Due to pandemic, the Interagency Task Force or IATF reminds people that they should be seated 1 meter distance from each other. Particularly sa pag-upo nila sa round table, how many ways can 6 people be seated in a round table provided na you observe nila yung 1 meter distance or one, uh, merong 1 seat apart sila, may pagitan silang upuan na dapat hindi sila magkatabi kasi. Wherein 3 cannot sit next to each other. So mayroong condition dito na sila, uh, okay, na sila ay... Mayroong tatlo na dapat hindi magsama or magkatabi sa isa't isa. Let's say may, again, i-simplify natin. May anim na upuan. Okay? Tatlo, kunwari may dumating na tatlo na katao. Bawal silang magkatabi. So, bawal silang umupo ng dito. Kasi nga, three cannot sit next to each other according to our problem. Papaano gagawin ito? Una, Isolve natin muna yung walang restriction. 6 minus 1 factorial. So, galing yan doon sa ordinary formula ng ating circular permutation. Ngayon, isusubtract natin is ito. Papaano nangyari ito? Sir, papaano po nangyari yung 4 minus 1 factorial? Sir, saan nyo po kinuha yung 3 factorial? Again, Si Vic at saka si Joey kanina, nagkaroon sila ng restriction. Pero doon sa pinakadulo, nagkaroon ng situation na sila ay nag-away. Refuse to, to sit beside each other. Parang ganito yung condition dito. Ito yung 6 minus 1 factorial. Ito yung walang restriction ito eh. Samantalang ito, may restriction na ito. They can, the three can sit next to each other. Pwede silang mag katabi, yung tatlo. So, can and sit beside each other. Kumbaga, uh, ang gagawin natin is, kailangan hanapin natin yung condition na sila ay pwedeng magkatabi. Okay? So, with that, ang gagawin natin, ganito yung process natin, alamin muna natin yung walang restriction or 6 minus 1 factorial. Isusubtract natin Yung mayroong restriction na magkakatabi sila, okay, yung tatlo. So, kumbaga, yung matitira dito, yun na lang yung mga number of ways 
na yung tatlo ay hindi magkakatabi sa kanilang upuan. I-simplify natin, explain natin itong magkakatabi sa upuan. 4 minus 1, naging ganyan na lang, counted as 1, again for the second time, counted as 1 yung tatlo, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Kaya 4 minus 1 factorial na lang. Once again, ang sinusob natin dito sa subtrahin natin is yung mga number of ways na magkatabi yung tatlo. Dahil nga, kapag sinubtract natin yan from the number of ways na walang restriction, ang matitira na lang doon is yung mga number of ways na mayroong tatlo na hindi pwedeng magtabi doon sa circular na table. So, magkakaroon tayo ng quantity 4 minus 1 factorial. Sir, saan nyo ginamit yung 3 factorial? Saan po galing yan? So, halos magkapareho dun sa problem natin kanina na may restriction. Yung tatlong nag-decide na magkakasama, meron pa rin silang restriction na pwedeng magkapalitan ng pwesto. Either na nasa kanan or kaliwa ng bawat isa. So, with that, nagkaroon tayo ng 3 factorial dito. Isi-simplify mo ito using your calculator. Mag-arrive ka sa 84 ways. So, I hope nakatulong yung mga napakaraming problems natin or pagre-represent natin ng mga illustrations dito. So with that, I want to end my discussion with this. It's all in how you arrange the thing. The careful balance of design is the motion. So thank you for the time and thank you for uh, joining me in discussing permutation. I hope nakatulong sa'yo. Get your module and answer those exercises given to you by your subject teacher. Thank you and have a good day.